Hi everyone, this is Wikiong. Alright, today I'm just going to show you um, how to actually install the web client for vCenter 5.1. So basically, uh, we'll go through the setup and install, and then followed by um, adding in the vCenter into the web client and just do some simple browsing of the features functions. So basically, um, you can refer to my blog. I actually refer, um, added in some references and resources which you can. Um, Look at it. There's also certain KBs uh, on how to use the web client as well. All right. Without further ado, let's start. So basically, what I have done is that I have a new, brand new Windows. All right. Uh, 2008 R2 Service Pack One uh, server. And um, here I have the CD-ROM. Basically, I just need to click on the web client. So basically, the prerequisite is single sign-on. We have already done the single sign-on installation uh, in the vCenter 5.1 with uh, single sign-on installation uh, in my previous video. So we can refer to that. All right, here I'm just going to install. So the setup is pretty straightforward. Just click next, agree to the licenses. All right, I'll keep everything default. So you need to remember where your single sign-on server is and its administrator uh, password, which um, was mentioned during my installation video. All right, what happened here is that I installed it inside my vCenter. So I'm just going to route it to it. All right. Um, I preferably I will use the FQDN so with a change of DNS that would not uh, or I, I mean uh, the change of uh, IP address that would not actually create any issue for me all right so here the installation I actually look up to the SSO and if it actually discover it actually gives you the certs all right let's just install the certs and just click install Alright, we have finished installation. I could actually quit the uh, installer. Alright, so before I uh, carry on, um, I'm just going to install Firefox. And use it as the default browser. Alright, since uh, IE will require a lot of protection, uh, Disablement. So here uh, we go to start menu again um, and click on administration application. So just confirm. Um, we will need to install Adobe Flash. All right. So I'm just gonna download this.
Alright, I'm just going to click next and just do the installation. So you will need Flash all right, and a browser that's supported to use the web client. So go to Start Menu, All Programs, go to VMware, under VMware vSphere Web Client, you will see three links here. So you will see that the vSphere application, uh, administration application. So what is this? Basically, um, this is to use to register all the vCenter 5.0 instead of 5.1. Alright, so you could do registration of vCenter. So basically, just enter the host name, username, password for the vCenter and as well for the web client server. So my web client server is not installed on the vCenter, then the name will be different and click register, this will be, be added in. So that when you access the web client, you will actually see that vCenter as well. But for vCenter 5.1 with this web client 5.1 is automatic register during the installation. So basically what we do here is that we can access the vSphere web client directly now. So in order to um, access the web client, the address will be 9943 vSphere web client to all your users. They will actually use the same. So basically here I'm just going to lock in the web client. And as you can see here, um, the starting page will give you this getting started thing. On the left are all the tasks that you can see. On the middle is actually the content page. Uh, panel and on the right are all the work in progress and recent tasks and as well as alarms are all on the right all right and you can pin them if you want to or unpin them so basically unpin them will make them minimize to give you more viewing space so here i'm going to click on vcenter and you will be able to see that um, i have already uh, my vcenter 5.1 all right already registered inside here so if i were to click the host and I'll be able to see my data store, my cluster, and my ESX host with all my VMs available. So if I were to click on any of my VM, all right, you see the formula page, all right, same as the C# -sharp client. And on the summary, you see the portlet here with the summary of this VM. All right, the hardware specs will be here. And uh, if you want to add any text uh, for search function, which is on the right here, you can do so. Alright, this also tells you the EVC is it turned on or not and you can, as usual, you can also add in any notes that you want. So what monitoring does is that you can increase, um, do any alarms and stuff like that. Manage wise, um, of course you can edit your uh, VMs, any options, uh, advanced setting can be done here as well. Alright, as per usual, just like your c -sharp client. Alright. So if you have here, you can actually click a shortcut to go to the vCenter directly. Okay, so if you have multiple vCenter, if you click here, you actually see multiple vCenter here. So here I only have one, you only see one vCenter. Okay, and you can of course configure your switches as well. So you can see, this is how my switches will look like. Alright, if you have a distributor switch, you will be able to see the distributor switch as well. And the familiar tab on the top, it's all there. Alright, and I can list all the VMs here. So basically on the top right hand corner, there's a drop down list where you can actually access some of the common stuff. Alright, and home will actually bring you back to this home page as well. Alright, that's about it. So to log out, just have to click on to your user. And you can actually remove stored data or reset to factory setting and just click on log out. Alright, so with this, I can actually access this with any of my web browser here so I'm now at the another machine to actually access this web uh, web client and you'll be able to see that you will be able to be load it will load and 
just use as per normal just that when we were accessing it on the web client server alright so as loaded so basically you just need to log on to the server and here you go alright thank you for watching I hope to see you again and I hope this is useful for you